Welcome to today's session. So today we are looking at question 4 from the 2021 Mathematics Paper 2 uh, Grade 12 exams. So question 4 leads. Solve the equation. Solve the equation. So it's a bit faint but I, I believe it's solve the equation uh, basically 2x square uh, basically minus 13x plus 14 equals 0 giving your answers correct to two decimal places so that's question a so from this one they want to hear that to two decimal places you know that is the answer will be in decimal places so you should think of relating this one in this form the general form x square plus b x plus c so we need to identify this one so we know that in this case a is equal to 2 which is a this coefficient then b is equal to basically negative 13 then c is equal to basically a uh, 14 okay so once we get that then we need to use the standard formula for solving for x which is basically x is equal to minus b plus or minus then the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2ac over 2a sorry not 2s 2a okay so the mistake that people make in this case is when identifying these values so if it's negative here what it means is the b here is entirely this okay so this positive means you get the sign there then also here be mindful of what you get so once we get that we identify then we know that x now in this case equals 13 minus 13 then here it becomes minus minus 13 okay because it's a ne negative 13 then plus or minus then the square root of basically what is b b is 13 so it's a negative 13 that is b we square that then minus what is a a is a 2 so 4 times 2 then what is c 14 like this then we divide by 2 times 2 because a is 2 there okay so once we do that, what we discover is basically 13 times 13 is basically 162. So we have x, 169, sorry. So this one, this part is basically nothing but a 13. Then we have plus or minus the square root of, this is 169 minus, then 4 times 2 is c, uh, basically uh 8 times 14 so 8 times 14 is basically 112 then over 4 okay then what we end up with x is equal to this is nothing but 57 so it's 13 13 plus or minus the square root of 57 over 4 okay so once we do that let me i can read the top part the top part i can read this part so this part let me delete it so that i have enough space then what i end up next is basically we have x is equal to at uh, the square root of 57 using the calculator we get a 13 plus or minus uh, basically 7.5498 remember yeah? we are allowed to use the calculator in paper 2 so next is we have x is equal to 13 plus 7.5498 over 4 or x is equal to 13 minus 7.5 four nine eight over four that's what dc plus or minus means then we end up with x is equal to basically 
are 13 plus 13 plus 7 okay is basically 22 so 13 plus 7 if you do 13 plus 7.5 uh, then we divide by 4 we end up with x is equal to 5.1 three seven four five so which ends up with x is equal to basically five point one four one four okay then next this one which is basically thirteen minus seven point five four nine eight then we divide by four we end up with x is equal to 1.36255, which is nothing but 1.36212 to two decimal places. So these are the values of x. So this is how you solve question 1a. So let us move to question in, uh, basically uh, b. Question b is on vectors. So question B is on vectors. So what I can do is let me just create space for myself by cleaning the board. Okay, so I'll need to clean the board. So I create space for allow for me to create to, to clean the board. So then B leads in the diagram below. O A is equal to 4A, O B is equal to 3B, M is a midpoint of A B and O B is equal to 3 times B D. 3 times B D. Then calculate A B. Calculate vector A B. So A B, A B is basically moving from A to here. So the other way of moving from A to B is basically in this direction is basically going back to O then coming this route okay so which is now A O which is the inverse remember A O is the inverse a negative of O A okay we are going against the direction so it's a negative then plus from O to B which is O B so what is a, a O? The first thing that we need to know is what is O A. So O A is 4 A. This is 4 A, this one. So we have minus 4 A, which is 4 A. Then plus what is O B? Is 3 B. So this is basically our answer on number 1. Roman numeral number 1. Okay. So let's look at Loma numero number two. So Loma numero number two. Okay, Loma numero number two. Let me just clear. So Loma numero number two is asking us to find O M O M. So we are being asked to move from O to M directly. How do we get O to M? So O M. The other way is we can find we can end up at O M can reach OM okay is by moving from O to A O to A then we add then AM AM so we know what o, OA is OA is basically 4A then plus this AM so how do you find AM so what we are told is M is a midpoint of A B, the one that we just found. So what it means is if it's a midpoint, then A M is basically half of A B. Okay, so what is A B? A B is this one. So we've already found A B. So let me just create space by labbing. So we know what A B is. So it's half of A B. A B is basically minus four. A then plus 3B. 
then we end up with 4a plus so this one times that one is becomes a negative so in this case what we have is a minus okay a minus this one multiplied by this one is a minus 2a then this one multiplied by that is a plus 3 over 2b then we end up with just 2a plus 3 over 2b so this is basically our om om okay so let us move to a basically ad ad okay so how do you find ad from here to here ad so the one way you can find ad move to ad is basically by basically by going to basically b a b a b which is here a b then b d okay so it's a b which we already know is this one then plus b d okay b d so we know the relationship between b d and o b okay so the relationship is given to us here so we know that o b is equal to 3 times b d okay that's the this so this one so in this case to find b d we divide by 3 b d we divide by 3 so it's 1 over 3 o b so remember we found we know what ob is ob is basically this 3b so what we have is ab ab we already found it to be minus 4a plus 3b then plus bd is half one third of ob which is basically 3b so simplifying this we end up with minus 4a plus 3b plus a b okay plus b then which basically this b and this b is 4b so we we'll end up with just 4b minus because this is negative 4a so which is 4 then b minus a as our final vector for a d a d so basically this is how you answer a d so let us move to m d so m d again let me just create a bit of space on this one just create a bit of space on this one okay so when you go to md so md is how do we find md okay so md m to d so if we are to to see properly on this curve, what is MD? So MD, what you are saying is MD is basically we are moving from M to this this point. So how do you move to MD? So there are two ways. So what we can do is to move to MD, we need to do m a then a d okay we go to a from m then to d so which is m a direction then plus a d okay plus a d so we know that m a so m a is a midpoint so what you know is m a is just basically the opposite the opposite direction of o of a m okay of a m so what we have is basically the negative half because it's half in the middle point so then half of basically a b is what m a is then plus a d so a d remember a d we just found it on question number three so a d we know it so AD is nothing but 4B minus A. 
this is what we just found recently so we know half multiplied by a b so a b we've already found it to be negative 4 a plus 3 b then plus 4 multiplied by b minus a okay then it's a matter of expanding so we have uh, basically this one and this one will give us basically a uh, 2a then minus 3 over 2b then plus 4b then minus 4a okay then we collect the like terms so if you look at this one and this one will give us basically a minus 2a minus 2m then if you look at this one and that one so we have basically when we simplify this one so we are just saying basically is 4 b minus 3 over 2 uh, b so the common denominator there is a 2 2 into 1 into 2 is 2 times 4 is 8 8 b minus 2 into 2 is a 1, 1 times 3 is 3 b so 8 b minus 3 b will remain with it basically a plus 5 over 2 b 5 over 2 b which is basically is 5 over 2 b minus 2 a as our final answer of md so basically this is how you answer or deal with question 4 to get those good marks thank you for joining us today join us as we deal with another question in paper 2